I'm Charlotte Oxley and I'm here today at the Notre Dame Knights of Honor and Hall of Fame induction dinner. Uh, tonight we're celebrating uh, our Knights of Honor. It's a great way to bring our alums and special people back to campus and tonight we'll have about 380 people in attendance and it's going to be a fun exciting evening. There were two Knights of Honor recipients awarded for their outstanding dedication to Notre Dame and their amazing accomplishments in their fields. Back to the Future film editor Arthur Schmidt was recognized, as well as Bill and Colleen Pace for their service to Notre Dame. Educating hearts and minds, and it's not really just a slogan, it's how things work here. It really is what Notre Dame is about. It's about educating the kids, but it's really developing them as people. This year, there were also six Athletic Hall of Fame inductees. In 1985, when I started, girl sports were barely a thing. Mm -hmm. We had to create our value. And, and you really spearheaded that. So I'm thrilled that we have a great women's athletic program here. And, and to see it, I'm just so proud of everything. The evening was a great success, attracting alumni from all over the country to see friends and celebrate accomplishments. It warms my heart to know that you guys are still coming back to Notre Dame. It's a place that I love, and I'm glad that so many other I think if you really enjoy and love what you do, then hard work that comes with it and the sacrifice that comes with it really isn't seen that as big as a sacrifice. So I love the school and I'm grateful and honored to be here tonight. I got to do everything a boy would want to do. And I just want to thank Notre Dame for being a huge part of it. So thank you, Notre Dame, and thank you, coaches. The youngest honoree to be recognized was John Carlos Stanton, current New York Yankees baseball star. You know, family oriented. Uh, ways of Notre Dame um, really sticks with me. I appreciated every last bit of it and I worked as hard as I could. Who thought that Mr. LaFace would be the first person to come back to Notre Dame to work here? <laughs> I was stunned to hear that he's a religion yeah. teacher now. You know, it's good to have someone here on the, on the home turf. Yeah, definitely surprised, but you know, Andy, you can ask for a better person to come back and, and be a teacher at Notre Dame. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's a great guy. Today, um, you know, the alumni came out. We had to uh, have a good showing out there. Um, we, we definitely wanted to uh, uh, really support the 08 team and make a good showing. And uh, yeah, the first inning, uh, ball was left up a little bit. And uh, you know, I just put a good swing on it, closed my eyes, took a big swing, and uh, it went it. out. It went out. Yeah, I barreled it and went out to right. So that was a lot of fun. It feels but, good to be back. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, improvements going around. It's good to see you know where we grew up, right? Mm -hmm. Essentially, where we uh, you know made a bunch of friends here, and we definitely formed a brotherhood. It feels good to be back home. When it came to a high school, I knew it would be, be Catholic, and we'd known about the Brothers of the Holy Cross and what a fine job they did here at Notre Dame, not to mention the sports program they had even in those days in 1969. So it became kind of a no-brainer to come to Notre Dame High School and try and excel as a student athlete. Notre Dame was very big at preparing you for um, college courses. The background I had allowed me to adjust to a college career way better than some of the other students I was going to school with and it's amazing to see the development and the progress that this high school has made since I attended this. It's nice to have some of our young people who are here to have an understanding of all the great people who have gone before them and the history that they created just as our, our students are creating history today.